Hey, Muffins. Um, I have another subscriber request for the LTTB tips and tricks. If there's a tank you're struggling with, I do have other subscriber request videos I compiled a playlist of. Shoot over there, see if there's maybe a video I did that might be able to help you. Uh, love helping my subscribers, so let's dive into the LTTB. So. The thing about it is you are a light tank. So right at the beginning here, I'm trying to get myself in a position to spot for my team and for myself. Because when I get myself in this position to spot, it helps my team know how to position themselves, but it also helps me know what to do and gives me an idea of where they are. So I'm paying attention. I see there's a destroyer here I detected, there's lights over there, but I haven't detected any of their heavy tanks yet, which tells me most likely they went into the town. Now, I was staying here a little bit too long in my opinion, maybe a little bit more of a stake. This is where I should have just backed out and just went back because um, you'll see the heavy tanks start to approach and come up on me. So you get to a spot, once I, once you realize and have that information, that data that you're able to understand from that spotting, go ahead, change location. So the thing about a light tank, and we'll talk, actually talk about the pros and, uh, or the strengths and weaknesses of a light tank. So when it comes to playing blitz, it's all about utilizing and maximizing your strengths, protecting your weaknesses, and exposing your enemy's weaknesses as much as possible uh, using your tank. So looking at the LTTB, it's very so much more of a flat ground light tank, um, meaning you want to keep yourself, you want to be spotting, you want to still be fulfilling that role, but it doesn't have a lot of gun depression, um, which is a little bit of a weakness. It has some gun depression, but not as much as some others. So very so much a flat. Um, the thing about it is you have to know when to engage and when to disengage. So what I mean by that, it's very important as a light tank, as you're going around the map, you're spotting, you're using your view range, you're keeping yourself, you have to use the landscape as protection because you don't have any armor. You never want to be putting yourself in a position to rely on the armor. Is when it comes to engaging and disengaging, you want to... the L a light tank is so very so much a opportunistic tank so if you have too many if you become the focal point of enemy tanks you need to disengage you need to create some barrier of distance which i use the landscape for because i don't have um, armor and i need to relocate quickly so i can become less of a focus when you're noticing the enemies are more distracted focused on other enemies that's when i go into that moment of re-engaging so like that lichen for example he was he at first was um, focused on me i disengaged like that t29 was also focused i came back around he was distracted and that gave me my opportune time to um, re-engage so I think that's also one point I don't really mention in my other videos but it's very important to understand with a light tank or a medium tank um, when making those decisions from spotting and that's the thing is you'll learn in my next video some mistakes and I'll point some of those out and they're very obvious I think it was just more frustration of the controls and stuff and a little bit of my gun depression and sometimes I let the frustration get the best of me but here I go once again I need to get to a spot where I can spot I can give myself information on where the enemy is so that'll help me in my next decision on what I should do next so I'm starting to notice, okay, we got one enemy coming over here. We got a tank destroyer. I'm starting to wonder if the heavy tanks are maybe still making their way over. But as I sit here a little bit longer, I'm still waiting for me to detect more tanks because like I just spotted that tank destroyer and that medium tank. Um, I definitely should be able to start detecting more of their enemies, but I'm not. This is telling me that they're split up. So I'm using some deductive reasoning. I've got heavy tanks in the town. I've got some tanks over here. And as you, as you spot effectively at the beginning, and I notice now they're capping. So they're definitely split up here. And I'm looking at the map and our whole team is over here on the right hand side. This is definitely the time to, to be aggressive and move in. You'll notice I'm using more of that flat ground because of, once again, I, I don't have a lot of gun depression and we're closing in and we're eliminating that, that weaker chain um, within the, uh, the enemy lineup. So 
here once again i'm using my landscape i'll even come up on this su try to pop up get some shots i don't want to get that dicker max because i'm being very conscious and aware and i just got nailed by that su i didn't think maybe he was going to be quite focused on me because there was other teammates over there but um i didn't want to just go up on that and get the dicker max because i knew that su was there so as a light tank it's very important to be very aware of your surroundings um so here i'm not being the center of a fo like the center of focus he's running away so there's a chance for me to engage now these heavies are coming into the picture these tigers and that's going to put me in a position to now become their focus is to get me and i can't be in that focus to side scrape and use my armor so i need to get out of there so i'm not going down in that ditch where the riverbed is because that doesn't create a landscape um barrier of protection for me because if i were to go down that way they could just easily come down into that little um creek and wipe me out and i don't have any armor so i'm now trying to move myself i'm relocating waiting for those opportunities when they're distracted and then re-engage now <laughs> that's where i tunnel vision because i had spotted him a lot sooner than he spotted me but it was just more so out of frustration i really wanted to get that shot but I could not get the LTTB's gun depression down. So now that I was his center of a, uh, focus, I started relocating a little bit. But we're kind of at the end here. I mean, he's weaker. I do want to get rid of him. But I am using my third-person view, and I do recommend that quite a bit when playing the game. Before you come out or pop around a corner or whatever, use your third-person view to just look around that corner because... If um, you are the center of attention or the focus and you're in a lighter or not a very well armored tank, um, then you can easily get pent and you'll just be trading or just losing hit points when you could have easily been protecting yourself. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful. The muffin here, you guys stay cool and keep tanking.